so um 7.1 says uh write down the coordinates of b and d right and if you look at the question there uh, we are given the equation of the parabola as f of x is equals to x plus 4 uh, multiplied by x minus 6 right and then it's already factorized so from here we don't have to do much to find b and d they are the x intercepts of the parabola so we just equate uh, the the function to zero right so we're gonna get um, x plus 4 uh, multiplied by x minus 6 is equal to zero so x plus 4 equals to zero or x plus uh, x minus 6 <coughs> equals to zero so x equals to minus four or x equals to six so the coordinate of uh, when x equals to minus four that will be b right um so b is minus four and zero and then d it's six and zero i'm saying that b is minus four uh, instead of d because b is on the left hand side of the cartesian right it's on the negative x uh, values and then uh, d is on the positive x values um, so let's go ahead and do 7.2 7.2 says calculate the coordinates of f uh, if you look at the graph on the left hand side you can see clearly uh, the coordinates of c uh, you can see clearly that uh, c is the turning point of the graph um so to find the x coordinate of the turning point uh, you see that x equals to minus b uh, divided by 2a but then if you look at f of x f of x is not given in the standard format so we have to multiply it out and then we can extract a and b so let's go ahead and do that so we're gonna have f of x uh, equals to x plus 4 multiply by x minus 6 uh, so we're gonna get x multiplied by x that will be x squared and then x multiplied by 6 minus 6x six plus 4x uh, minus 6 uh, 12 uh, 24 so that will be minus uh, 24 uh, after that uh, we're gonna get x squared uh, minus 2x minus 24 so from here we can then extract a and b and c so a uh, will be one right and then b will be minus two and then c is uh, minus 24 so we're gonna have x equals to minus uh, b is minus two so we're gonna have minus two there divided by two a a is one so we're just gonna have one there so we basically have 2 divided by 2 which, which is 1 now to find uh, the y coordinate of the turning point we're just going to substitute a 1 into the equation so we're going to have f of 1 uh, equals to 1 plus 4 uh, multiplied by 1 minus 6 so this will give us uh, 5 uh, 1 minus uh, 6 that's minus 5 so it's multiplied by minus 5 which is gonna give us minus 25. So the coordinate of C is uh, one for the X value and minus 25 uh, for, the, for the Y value. So let's move ahead. 7.3, 7.3 say, um, can, uh, write down the range of F. Uh, we can see that uh, F is concave up if a parabola is concave up then the range is y uh, is greater or equals to the y coordinate of the tp so what's the y coordinate of the tp minus 25 right so y is greater or equals to minus 25 that's for concave up right and then uh, for argument sake if it was uh, concave uh, down 
uh, what was gonna be um, the general formula for the range the general formula for the range was gonna be y is less or equals to y of tp this is always true you know write this down everywhere uh, when you get a parabola and it's asking for the range you can just use this formula y is greater or equal to or less or equal to uh, the y coordinate of the turning point depending on whether it's concave up or concave down uh, 7.4 um, given that theta is equal to 14.04 degrees and the tangent uh, to f a t is perpendicular to e tangent to f a t is perpendicular to e and then 7.1 7.4.1 says calculate the gradient of a e correct to two decimal places uh, theta is the angle of inclination of a e and we know uh, fully well uh, the formula to calculate gradient from angular angle of inclination we say that the gradient of a e is equal to tan theta that's how you determine a gradient from angle of inclination uh, so we're gonna say uh, the gradient of a e of a e equals to tan of the angle of which it is uh, 14 point zero four um and then if you put that in the calculator you get uh zero comma two five correct two decimal places uh which is just uh one over four right um and then you get your one mark and now seven point four point two says calculate uh, the coordinates of t okay t uh, it's on a uh, okay because the question says um, the tangent of f at t is perpendicular to a e so the line in at which t rests on is perpendicular to a e right so the gradient there at t uh, is supposed to be uh, the m the, the the gradient of a e uh, multiplied by gradient at t right uh, equals to minus one because uh, the two are said to be perpendicular right and the gradient and uh, the product of uh, the gradient of two perpendicular lines is minus one so we have one divided by four multiplied by the gradient at t uh, which is equals to minus one right um, so the gradient at t it will be minus one uh, divided by one over four uh, which is uh, minus four right so there we have the gradient at t uh, but then the question requires us to uh, calculate the coordinates of t so what we can do we can use the equation of the parabola right because we know that uh, gradient uh, it's also equals to uh, the derivative of the function right and then if we derivate the parabola we're going to be able to get the x value and from there get um, the y and then we'll, we'll have the coordinates of t so we're saying that the gradient is equal to the derivative of f of x and then it's equals to minus 4 right because we have determined it from uh, the given information uh, that is um, t is on uh, the gradient at t is perpendicular to um, the line at which t rests is perpendicular to a e so if we go ahead and derivate uh, f of x we're gonna get so let me write that down first so we have um, x squared minus 2x and uh, minus 24 right if we use the power rule uh, we're gonna get uh, 2x minus 2 minus 0 so that's the derivative of uh, f of x so now we have 2x minus 2 equals to minus 4 uh, 2x equals to um, minus 2 
x equals to minus 1. So now we have uh, the x value uh, at t, right? So now we have t is minus 1, and then here we have uh, the y. Now to find the y, uh, we can substitute it back into uh, our equation of f of x, right? So we're going to have f of minus 1 is equals to um, x squared minus 2, x minus 24. We're going to have uh, minus 1 squared minus 2 multiplied by minus 1 and uh, minus 24, uh, which is equals to 1 uh, plus 2 uh, minus um, 24. So we basically have 3 and uh, minus 24, which is equals to minus 21. So the coordinates of t are um, minus 1 and minus 21. So there we have uh, t. So let's move ahead um, 7.5. 7.5 is saying uh, it's a straight line g parallel to AE. So as soon as they say parallel to AE, we know that uh, the gradient of G uh, is equal to uh, 1 over 4, right? Because it's parallel to AE and the gradient of AE is 1 over 4. Cos F at, uh, we have a point now, K equals to minus 3 and minus 9. That is being shared uh, by uh, F and G and r okay so it's k and some other coordinate uh, r uh, which makes sense and then calculate the x coordinate the x coordinate of r okay um so what we can do we can determine uh, g of x and then after we determine g of x we can then equate g of x to f of x and then we'll find the coordinates at which uh, they intersect right so to find g of x uh, we we know that g of x is a straight line so it's given by y equals to mx plus c uh, we have the gradient uh, we can determine c using point k after we determine c using point k we'll then have our two equations we equate them and we find and the x coordinates at which uh, they touch, right? So we're gonna have uh, y equals to 1 over 4x plus c, and then we're gonna substitute uh, k uh, minus 3 and uh, minus 9, right? So the y value is minus 9, uh, which is equals to 1 over 4x uh, minus 3. Oh no, I'm doing it wrong. Uh, x is minus 3, so we have minus 3 here, uh, plus c. So basically, c equals to minus 9, uh, plus uh, 1 over 4, uh, multiplied by 3. So let me put that in my calculator real quick. I want to have minus 9, uh, plus 1, divided by uh, 4, uh, multiplied by 3. Uh, that is giving me... Uh, minus 33 um, divided by 4. So now we have y equals to uh, 1 divided by x uh, minus 33 divided by 4, right? So now we can equate, uh, this is g of x, this is g of x. Now we can equate this equation uh, to f of x and then find the x values at which they are equal. So, okay, uh, we're going to have uh, x of f of x is, is where's of f of x again? Um, let me just, is x squared, uh, is x squared, x squared what? Okay, x squared minus 2x um, minus 24 is equal to 1 over 4x minus 33 divided by 4. Um, to make our life a bit easy, we can, multiply the, we can multiply everything by 4 so that we can get rid of uh, the fractions, right? So here we're going to have 4x squared minus 8x 
uh, minus 24 multiplied by 2, 48, multiplied by another 296, so minus 96 equals to x minus 33, right? And then now I can just take this to the uh, left hand side. I'm gonna have 4x squared uh, minus 9x um, minus 63 um, equals to 0. And then we want to factorize this. If you don't know how to factorize something that is this complicated, there's no need to force factorization upon yourself. You can just use the quadratic formula and then you get your x values uh, without uh, taking any risk because people will usually get this wrong instead of just using the quadratic. So if I get, go ahead and factorize that, I get uh, we have 4x uh, minus 21 uh, multiplied by x uh, plus 3 equals to 0. And then after you factorize, you can then multiply it out. You can multiply this whole thing out and see if you come back where you started. If you didn't, you don't come back where you started, then you did something wrong. So let's carry on. I'm going to have 4x minus 21 equals to 0 or x equals to um, no man or x uh, plus 3 equals to 0 so 4x equals to 21 uh, x equals to uh, minus 3 uh, so here we're gonna have um, x which is equals to 21 divided by 4 um, so we have point k uh, which is minus 3 and minus 9 and point R, which is X and Y. And the possible, where they touch, uh, we have X equals to 21 divided by 4, or X equals to minus 3. Uh, it's clear to see that X equals to minus 3 uh, is point uh, K, right? And then it means that the X coordinate of point R is X equals to 21 divided by 4, right? So uh, R is... 21 divided by 4 and some value uh, y there.